How's it going, everybody? I'm back in Fallout 4. This time I'm going to be doing a slightly interesting build, I guess. Uh, nothing that I've ever seen anyone ever do, or even attempt, I guess. So, on the actual drive-in like theater screen, there's this gap that you can like jump up in. And, as you can see, I'm standing in it right now. I wanted to actually make a way for someone to actually be able to get up in this gap on the theater screen. And, like, be able to, like, travel between one side of the theater screen to the other side um, easily. And so, I mean, that's all I'm pretty much doing is I'm placing these cinder blocks so that I can place boards down between the gap and uh, like each of the pillars I guess and so yeah like as you can see right here I'm finding pieces of wood that fill in the space of these gaps and yeah a lot of these are I mean like perfect length for this which is really nice don't really have to worry too much about getting these in here but this was a, I thought it was a really interesting build, but at the same time, it's actually a really like difficult one because you have to worry about getting things to glitch in properly and getting like getting the pieces to not look like they're floating and stuff like that. So like as you can see right there, I couldn't get that piece in properly. And so it just it requires me to sit here and mess with this for a really long time. And I have to do it I have to deal with this like issue a lot while building. These planks aren't too forgiving, which is a little unfortunate, but you can build awesome things with these. Uh you could build like bridges, you could build all sorts of crazy things. Uh you could build little walkways like I do here. And this is something that's kind of not really necessary because, I mean, the person can just walk on the concrete part. But I wanted it to look a lot scrappier. And then also, I wanted to build a way to get up here that was a little bit more interesting as well. So that's the reason why uh, I decided to use these because I had an idea as to how I wanted them to be able to get up on top of this and so right here I'm just messing with the planks a little bit trying to fill in all as many gaps as I can before I start like placing the wood on top of like other pieces so I mean this is gonna be like layered to kind of fill in the like gaps and stuff like that I was going to just put a layer of planks on top of like the other ones like I like you can see right here what I'm doing and I was trying to fill in as much of the lower portion of this as I could before I actually attempted to like place that top layer on and so right here you can see I could get that right there on that cinder block and then I look for pieces that are a little bit more sturdy to place on the outside of this as you can see it's a little bit sturdier of a piece and as you can see it's a really good view like if I did have someone up here which there's someone on this at the end of the tour but Yeah, it's it's a really interesting build, I think. It's just really tedious. As you can see, I'm sitting here just messing with these pieces for a really long time in the build. It's just all about the placement order and stuff like that. But I'm probably going to be finished with Starlight Drive-In probably after another video or two. Uh, and then I'll be moving on someplace else. I'm still not sure where I'm going to go. I guess we'll see when we get there. 
but yeah, I'm really excited for wherever I go next. This settlement was massive. Uh, this, I mean, Starlight Drive-In does have a really large, like, build area. So, I mean, it's probably one of the biggest settlements besides, like, Spectacle Island or something like that. But it's a huge settlement. There's a lot of build area, and there's not really anything, like, obstructing you from building besides, like, the drive-in screen and also the, like, concession stand. <clears throat> But, yeah, like, having this much space has been awesome, but I think that I am excited to have a little bit less room, not be stuck on a settlement for, like, two months. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to go next yet, though, so hopefully I can figure out a smaller settlement to go to. But right here, I actually just began building the way to get up onto this platform. And so you could see that I kind of put down a piece of wood, like, sitting out at an angle. And I get a cinder block because I can't get it to really place the way that I'd like. And then also, it kind of makes sense to have something supporting it. And I keep falling off. As you can see, I cannot keep myself from falling off of this thing. Not a whole lot of space, but I don't know. Can't really think of a way to... I mean, I guess I could put railings and stuff up here, but I really didn't think it would be necessary. But, yeah, I just placed a couple of wooden beams uh, going outwards towards over the stairwell or whatever and the biggest problem with like what I'm doing is there's not a whole lot of space but I think that the way that I use the space that is available is a little bit more interesting than I've ever even seen people use so like as you can see uh, it's just fidgeting and stuff like that because these planks are really hard to get in the position that I want them. And then I jump down to see if I can figure out how far I need this to actually go out. And then... I wanted it to kind of be like a layered step or whatever, you know, down to this flat area and you can see that I'm trying to like leave as big of a gap on that right side as I can as I'm able to you know just so that there is enough space for whoever to walk through there which there is you can fit through there pretty evenly I think I may test it out uh, at some point in the video but I know that I've tested it since I've actually built this uh, for sure and like the settler actually does go up on the like the two rugs that I put at the end and so to make these stairs work I needed like some stepping or some like actual steps and so I just used cinder blocks and they're kind of a pain to get in because they're trying to like snap on top of the wood even though I want them to like kind of go underneath and you as you can see I can walk up on top of these and uh, to kind of fill in this space I just place these little short planks on here and then I place a warehouse plank on top of those to kind of give it a little bit more texture rather than it just being those little pieces. So now it looks like it's a little bit better blended and stuff. And so I actually have to move those back a little bit because uh, the issue is that now it's like a little bit harder to actually step up on top of 
than it was before, and so I just moved those back a little bit, and then, yeah, no issue. And then I do the same thing down here. I just place these and so as you can see that center block on the left like barely on the screen it looks like they're leaning on that as well so it ends up working out and then I use that piece again with this piece so it fills in a little bit more of the gap and then using the place anywhere until I just take these longer pieces of plywood and I put these right between are right underneath like the surface of this board so it kind of looks like it's between two pieces of uh, wood that are all nailed into it so it kind of makes sense that it's there it looks like it's nailed on and stuff so as you can see it's pretty thick so it does work I think I think it, it fits pretty well but right here I'm having issues actually grabbing what I need I have the guard mat on there I get rid of the rug and so it finally it only has this to grab and then it's just getting it in position and same thing on this end and then I thought about using this window and so I was trying to figure out how I could use this space I did something different since I've made this video I have added a little bit to this uh, all I've added is just some wooden planks on the front to kind of keep whoever from falling out uh, keep the guard from falling out you know and it also, it also provides a little bit of protection I suppose but uh, what I end up doing is I take a wooden plank and I just place it across these cinder blocks just to make like a little step up onto that ledge I end up putting a a mat on it so I feel like this is a really small space and I used uh, as much of it as I could and it still turned out really well. I think it was a really good use of space but here's the tour. As you can see there's a guard up on the piece of plywood actually. Uh, I have a guard mat right there on the edge of that and as you can see the frames are like a huge issue. Of course, I just went to sleep so that the time would be like a better part of the day and then it would be more lit up. And the frames are getting a little better now, but having just come over here and it's loading all these uh, textures and all these uh, items that I have placed, the frames are really choppy. But it's a little bit better now. But as you can see, he actually does stand up here on the mat, which is pretty cool. And it's a pretty good view uh, for a guard post, I think. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, make sure you guys share this with anybody that you know that's into Fallout 4 or into building because we're really close to 500 subs. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.